everybody. My name is Pat Riley. I'm running for Congress in the beautiful state of Tennessee. I'll be on the Green Party ticket for U.S. Congress, District 6. Let me tell you a little bit about who I am. I've got some questions here. I'm going to be my own interviewer since I don't have anyone else that's uh, asked to interview me yet. So I'm going to interview myself. Here we go. Who is Pat Riley? Well, I'm just a simple guy. Um, originally from Saginaw, Michigan. Spent 10 years there. It was a wonderful childhood. My folks and the family, six in the family, we moved to California. Spent 25 years there on the coast. Huntington Beach, I moved to uh, Monterey Bay and then Northern California for about five or six years and I've been in Tennessee for about nine years. Uh, next question, did I go to college? Yes, I went to college. I went to uh, Orange Coast Community College for about five years, <laughs> exploring all kinds of subjects. And, um, and then I went to, I uh, transferred to Cal State Long Beach, or California State University Long Beach, and uh, majored in health science. Do I have a goal? Uh, my goal is to just basically live peacefully, and honestly, and uh, just do the best I can. Try to, to be love, be peace, and to just be me. Next question. This is a silly question. Is my dad the basketball coach? What do you think? The answer is no, my dad's not the basketball coach. But uh, next question. Am I rich? Some might think I'm rich. My neighbor, a couple of my neighbors might think I'm rich, but um, I'm really not. I'm just kind of keeping my head above water. I, um, I own my property free and clear, so that's kind of nice. Cuts down on my, my uh, need for going out and working an average job. Uh, next question, do I have work experience? Yes, I have work experience. And I started out like delivering newspapers and started working in the restaurant business and washing airplanes and cars and um, boats for many years. That helped put me through college and I um, opened my own business in the novelty gifts um, arena. And then I have got into the healthcare business after going through college, worked at the VA hospital in Long Beach, California, and I worked for uh, health maintenance organizations like Pacific Care and Health Net and volunteered at the American, American Cancer Society. And um, while I was at the VA, incidentally, I worked in the CCU and the MICU and general medicine wards with a team of doctors. That was interesting as a health technician. And then I got into teaching. I was a health teacher in uh, junior high school for about five years. And I've been in the real estate business, buying and selling properties. And um, that's, that's helped me kind of keep uh, my head above water and, and um, stay out of that bumper to bumper traffic in the cities. Um, and I've been in the houseboat business recently for the last few years, selling houseboats. I do handyman work. Next question. Why politics? Politics. Well, um, when I was about nine years old, my aunt um, up in Michigan, Flint, Michigan of all things, she was the city manager way back when. And, um, and I remember going to a city council meeting with her. I was in the, the bleachers in this little auditorium, and I remember her up there on the stage, and that, that was my first impression or impression the first uh, experience I had with politics and I, I remember seeing her and thinking wow this is pretty interesting she's doing a great job up there answering the public's questions so that was that was the beginning and then in college I also um, had some experience uh, lobbying for the health uh, education um, field in, uh, in California and had some success uh, in, in up in Sacramento but really, um, I've had a political mind for a long time. I remember in, when I was like 18, I used to think, maybe I want to be president. <laughs> but um, 
maybe maybe everybody goes through that stage, but uh, I wasn't really serious about it. But the thought entered my mind, I don't want to be president. Um, but I am interested in politics. And uh, why am I interested in politics right now? Because of Ron Paul, pr primarily. He, he's, he's gotten me fired up. Um, he's a bold guy. He's... He's um, he's speaking the truth. I trust him, and uh, he's a miracle. I think he's um, it's amazing he's still alive. With some of the things that he he says, and um, and he says them for good reason. And um, I am so grateful that he he has been involved in in politics, and I, I believe in what he stands for for the most part, but not complete. Do I expect to win this election? Well, I've already won. That's how I feel about it. I've already won just by getting my name on the ballot thanks to Howard Schweitzer, the Green Party, inviting me to come aboard and, um, and, and be a part of uh, the Green Party. I've been a member of it for 25 years. I, I remember it caught my attention in college. And um, I thought, wow, this is interesting. I kind of like this green concept because I was always a, a nature lover. And I thought, yeah. Um, I'll sign up for that. That was 25 years ago, and here I am running for U.S. Congress. I can't even believe it myself. But realistically, no, I don't expect to win. It would take a, like a miracle, because I'm going up against a lot of money. Millions, 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 and I don't have hardly squat to put into it, other than my little video camera here and, and uh, just making a little little homegrown video for you folks, just to, to let you know who I am and what I stand for. I'm just a peaceful guy, ordinary guy. Well, I might not be ordinary. If I was ordinary, I'd probably be living in the city, but I'm a country boy, and a country boy can survive. Who knows? Maybe this will go viral. I have no idea. It's not it's not in my hands. I'm going to I'm going to do what I can. I've got to pray to be in this this 4th of July, and I'll probably be um, going out to a couple of fairs and festivals and and uh, speak here and there. I hope to be on the news and, and play my song that I wrote for my campaign with Donnie Bartholomew, a co-writer of mine. And uh, we'll just see what happens. It's going to be fun, if nothing else. And if I lose the election, um, I won't feel like a loser. I'll feel like a winner. I, I'll always feel like a winner. What else would you like to know about me? Feel free to check out my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Pat Riley's and uh, I have got a, close to 300 videos on YouTube mostly uh, of me playing uh, and singing my songs I'm a singer songwriter in the Nashville area my YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash Pat Riley's and if you'd like to check me out on Twitter and correspond with me there or follow my tweets <clears throat> Please do feel free to share my uh, my campaign song or any of the, the songs that you hear that you like. Uh, share this video. I'd really appreciate it. Like it. Um, hopefully it'll get good ratings and climb up and become more common on the search. So um, I appreciate your time. And um, a vote for me is a vote for you. And it's a vote for freedom. And I'm, I'm for not spending money we don't have. That's basically, I'm just telling you right now. I'm not going to be voting yes on all this big government stuff. I've learned recently that uh, from my neighbors who are big supporters of Ron Paul and, and the Libertarian Party that uh, this big government stuff is, is not the answer. I think uh, we need to accept responsibility for our own lives as much as possible and um, and, and keep the government out of our business because the government seems to screw up everything. I mean, the post office is bankrupt. I think Amtrak is not doing too well. The Department of Education is, is uh, you know, our education system is not really doing too well. I don't know if you're aware of that, but that's my opinion. Um, you know, we're $16 trillion in debt. We're getting in wars left and right. And... Um, Wars based on some questionable reasons, so, you know, I, I'm not too thrilled about it. On the other hand, this is a great country still. I'm, I'm proud to be an American, quote-unquote, I'm proud. Um, but I am, and if I, if I wasn't, I wouldn't be here. I'd be out of here.
I'd be in Canada, I'd be in Costa Rica, I'd be in uh, Switzerland, wherever. I'd sell my property. I could go anywhere I want. I'm totally free. But I, I'm choosing to give my time to, uh, to this country and to share the, the wealth of freedom that I have experienced, which has been tremendous. I'm, on, I'm standing on the shoulders of, of uh, the great people that have done uh, wonderful work in this country. Notably, uh, my parents, for example, for giving me the support and the safety net so I can, I can climb and, 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 and be where I'm at today. My, my parents were wonderful, and I'm so thankful. My family, my friends, and um, like, like I said, I'd appreciate your support. If you, if you want something different, somebody that's going to wear a tie-dye t-shirt in Congress, That'll be me. I might even get a sport coat, uh, like a, a regular coat. You know, you see those guys with suit and ties. Well, I'll wear a tie-dye one, maybe with a cool tie-dye uh, tie. Maybe. I'm, uh, maybe I'll just wear this or some kind of a tie-dye t-shirt because we need something different. The old Democrats, the old Republicans, it's basically they're on the same team, different color jerseys, but they're on the same team, and they basically do the same uh, thing and they're controlled by the, the higher ups, you know, the big money. And, um, you know, I think we need to try something different. And I'm going to cut government spending. I'm going to vote no on just about everything, just about like Ron Paul. If you like Ron Paul, then you probably like me. I'm not as smart as Ron Paul. I'm pretty simple. I've lived in the woods for a long time. I'm just a peaceful guy. I want everybody to experience joy and health and love. I, I want other people that haven't been as fortunate as I have to, to hopefully experience, um, you know, a wealthy life. And wealth doesn't is not just financial; it's of the spirit too. And have freedom to, to explore and to question, and to, and to be themselves. You know, even though that might be different, whether it's in music or in science or in health care, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. Well, that's it, folks. I appreciate you watching, and um, do take care and peace. Peace always. I appreciate you very much. Thanks. I even love you. I love life, so that means I love you. Take care.